everyone doing this is Oz with Oz Mechanics and on today's video we're working on this Lexus so the issue that we have on this Lexus is that the throttle body is not responding so today I'm gonna show you how to fix it up and let's get right to it okay so right now we have the engine idling and what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you the RPMs all right, so we're gonna push on the accelerator pedal and we're gonna see if we have any difference right here. So I'm pushing it right now. And as you can see, the RPM is not moving. So let's go under the hood so we can see what we're looking at. All right, so we have the key on the on position and we're gonna just basically see if we move the throttle cable, if we're gonna have any movement right here on the throttle body. So basically the system right here uh, on the throttle body system is a, I would consider like a two-step, uh, is, is a mechanical, like the old wire, and plus is a drive-by wire. Kind of, kind of is a weird system, but let me go, let me go through it. So think about the drive-by wire uh, vehicles. They have an AP, uh, APP sensor in the, in the inside, the, uh, the pedal position sensor, and then you have your TPS sensor in the throttle body. All right, so this APP sensor is actually not in the, on the pedal, it's right here outside. So the APP sensor actually works for about half of the movement of the throttle body. So half of it is gonna be using the sensor and that should actually move this uh, throttle plate. And then the other half is actually going to use the mechanical aspect. So here, I'm going to pull the cable, and as you can see, you can actually hear the throttle body move. All right, so sorry for all the movement, but we're going to have two sensors right here. We got the APP sensor and the TPS sensor. The TPS is kind of lodged in there, but this is the little harness for it. So the APP sensor is going to be moving the throttle, uh, the throttle plate. <coughs> the first, uh, I would say, half movement of the pedal. And as you can see, I'm gonna move the, and it's not even moving at all. And this is with the key on. And just remember, there's other vehicles that, even with the key on, this is not gonna move. But on this vehicle, I was checking it out, and it does. So right now, when I'm moving this, we should have movement, and we're not. But like I said, if we keep on going a little further, that's when we're just basically going to pull the, the actual plate. And that's the customer, that's the complaint that the customer was stating that he would drive and basically to get this car moving, he would have his foot all the way down on the gas. So, what we're going to do on this video, we're going to test out the sensors. So, we're going to test out the APP, TPS, those are the inputs going into the, the computer right here. And man, through this video, I'm going to call this PCM, ECM. So, but these are the inputs to the computer it's inside right here and then the output is actually going to be this motor right here and we're going to test out the motor as well he stated that he replaced the motor and replaced the sensors and all that good stuff so we're just going to verify that we're getting our signals to the computer and after that we're going to verify that they're coming out to the motor and we're going to see what the issue is and hopefully we can figure it out right now what i'm going to do i got the ecm right here so we're just going to verify that the signals are going from this sensor to the ECM because essentially what happens, the, sens uh, the signals go from the ECM and then they come out and then they direct this little motor to turn on and off. Uh, off screen I did check this out with the power probe and it did show that the butterfly was working. I might do uh, a little scene so I can show you that real quick with the power probe but uh, let's get to this. And uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to check for 5 volts. But knowing that we're getting 5 volts over there is going to let us know that the 5 volt reference is working here. But that's just going to be a little test right now. So here goes 5 volt reference. All right. And there you go. So now let's look at the actual signal wires. And the signal wires, what we're going to look for, it's going to be 21 of blue and white. So, there's numbers right here, you really can't see them, but they're on the corner. 
because of this bright light. Really, right in the corner, it says 24 right here. So if we go three back, that should be 21. One, two, three, and there you go. Blue and yellow are pinned in there. So as you can see, we have a signal there. Now we're gonna move the throttle cable and it should move. Okay, so now let's check out the other signal and that's gonna be connector two. And what we're gonna try to look for is uh, yellow and black wire. And I don't know if you can see that right there. We're gonna back probe it. As you can see, we have our signal right there. So I'm going to show you we're going to do the same thing. So what we're trying to look for is movement. And there you go. So that lets us know that this sensor is actually working. So it's sending a signal to the PCM. And the PCM is supposed to open up this motor right here. And we, I verified with the power probe that this is working. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you my test I did to actually make sure that this was actually working, the throttle plate. And uh, after this, I'm pretty much going to call this. I'm going to be calling the PCM. We're going to replace it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get it from one of those PCM places that uh, have it ready to program. So I'm just going to show you that right there to let you know that the butterfly is working. And... After this, we're going to get a brand new PCM, we're going to put it on, and on the next scene, you're going to see that this is going to be working all good. Alright, so this throttle body system right here is basically uh, a two-step uh, throttle body. Uh, this motor, it has a clutch, and plus it has the motor side. So, the PCM has to basically send a signal to the clutch and the, the motor side the clutch to engage it and the motor to actually turn it. So right here what we're going to do, I'm actually going to show you manually that this is working. So I'm going to ground out both clutch and motor. Well, let me show you one at a time. So here, so you can hear it. You see, that's the clutch that you're hearing there, the click, and you're going to hear the motor. That's the motor. Now if we both engage them together, you're going to have the actual throttle moving up and down. There you go. You see the throttle moving? So that verified that this was working, throttle was working. Remember, we got the sensor sending the signal to the PCM, but the PCM is not sending a signal to the actual motor and clutch. So that gives me you know a good percentage that the PCM is going to be the bad the bad part on this and like I said we're going to get the part number send it off go get everything uh, going and uh, we should have this car running good let's check this out and the company that we're dealing with is uh, SIA electronics uh, they are I think in Illinois so I just told them the issue that we have with the ECM they uh, repaired it, told us everything is going to be okay. If we have any issues, they put it right there that they will fix up any other problems. Um, as you can see right here, they just put replace shorted throttle body component. I don't know if y'all can read that. So, replace shorted throttle body component. So, and that's the issue that we're having. Like I said, we're getting the we're getting uh, the signals coming out from the sensor but it wasn't telling this motor to actually move so this is this is me opening this up we're just gonna go th with this together and let's see if it actually fixes up the problem all right so what I want to do right here we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the ECM we're gonna hook it up and then after that what we're gonna do put the key on the on position and we're just gonna move the sensor and then we're gonna see if the throttle blade moves. All 
and every single time I work on the car I gotta verify that I did test everything uh, there's some stuff on the video that I did not show uh, kind of sorry about that but that's testing the grounds and so on so uh, but I did verify that the last thing I want to do is you know put so much money into computer and that's not it so but I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be the fix So it goes. All right, so right there we have our RPM. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it gas. And here it goes, moment of truth. <laughs> How lovely is that? All right, so there we go. That was our fix. And the fix was basically we had a, um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a transistor little component inside the ECM that was damaged and uh, luckily our friends at uh, SIA fix it up um, I am gonna leave the link down low on how to get to them and their phone number and uh, you know just do your test first luckily we didn't put any other parts on here we didn't put the sensors we didn't put none of the motors it was just the ECM it was a more expensive part but at least we got it on the first the first shot man that's why you gotta diagnose stuff so if you do like this video please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out here from Oz Mechanics man y'all take care goodbye